guys how's it going this is tim shaves and today is going to be an unboxing and mail call this is going to be the last package of the black friday sale that i've purchased and i'm excited to go into it uh one thing i did <laughs> i did look at everything that was in the package uh for some reason i went to i went to take a picture of it first so after i took the picture i realized that i already looked at everything so i was like oh crap I should have waited for the video but anyways i i kind of know what's in there but i'm gonna look in more details because everything is still packaged so let's get to it today's package is from um let's see here it's from hendrix classics and company uh, hendrix classics hcnc for short um i really enjoyed using their product i know um i got to I got to know them more through some of the YouTube videos uh, from Jeremy the Traveling Shaver, also IMCBB. Uh, they were using their products a lot and I think Jeremy used it uh, a while ago. I remember him using the, the black soap and the balm and just enjoying his time with it. And CBB really uh, featured some of the fragrance oils and fragrance drops into the lather. So got interested in it. I, I got a sample pack from them before and I enjoyed using it so I got some full size products today. Also my drink of choice, um, my shave rich, I said uh, it's a uh, Sterling coffee, it's their breakfast blend. Got it in my Captain's Choice mug. I got this gifted uh, maybe a year or two ago and I really enjoy using this mug. I know they came out with a new design of their mug and it's been going well for me. Mm -hmm. Coffee in the morning. Yes. Very nice. Um, Sterling's coffee. Uh, I don't think this one is my favorite, but some of them I really enjoy. Uh, I've enjoyed their uh, Guatemala and India coffee. Uh, the breakfast blend. It's um. It's better than the market coffee, but it still uh, doesn't have a lot of. Mm, like fragrant notes to it. It's just a kind of a nice go-to blend. Doesn't have a lot of bitterness, but uh, it's not as fragrant as other coffee I've tried from Sterling, but still good, good enough for me. All right, they do give, or they do include a couple of instructions and informations um, over here. I got the receipt. <clears throat> uh, this was packed by Dana. Tim, thanks so much for your order. Please let us know if you need anything else. Happy holidays. Nice little touch from Hendrix and Classics and company. Also, uh, this is the fragrance oil instructions. You probably, I don't know if it's a reverse in the video, but um, yeah, just tells you how to use the fragrance oils. Uh, start with one drop and increase fragrance oil gradually to avoid burning sensation. Wash with soap and water if you feel burning. And it has instructions for face lathering, for bowl lathering, for shave balm or beard oil, homemade splash, all this stuff. So, uh, yeah, nice little instructions for those wanting to use these products. Also, uh, it, it has a, not an instruction, but... Just some information on their basic idea of um, to have the highest quality shaving software for less. You can purchase the unscented soap. Fragrances are sold separately. Uh, the benefits, it goes through the benefits here. Choose fragrance based on your mood without needing a bunch of separate tubs. So yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a neat idea uh, having a one unscented soap and uh, using the fragrance oil to the mood of the day. And uh, fragrance oils are a lot easier to store rather than having a whole bunch of separate tubs. So yeah, good idea. So I I took into that. <laughs> also, their packaging for this products uh, I was a little caught off guard because uh, <laughs> it was just a uh, black, not not a plastic bag, but a a, a package a delivery packet. So. I thought it would come in a box. Uh, I think I, I feel like box would be 
a lot more safer, especially with uh, fragrance oils, but it seems like they package every single item, so with bubble pack, so I don't think anything's filled. I smell some like lavender, uh, which I ordered from one of them, so hopefully nothing spilled, but let's go through the products really quick. I'm just gonna take out everything for now. All right, let's, um, so start off with the first pack of products. This one is their White Star Soap. As you can see, the White Star here um, on the back has a scent. This one is Badass and this one is uh, Cool Stream. So one thing, um, I did order, uh, whatchamacallit, I ordered, um, I picked Florida Chill White, uh, White Star Soap, but I got the Cool Stream instead. I'm not sure if they ran out of the Florida Chill Soap, um, but I'll have to ask them. I did order Badass, which is this one. So just one little difference, but uh, I will have to email them and see what's up. But yeah, these are their, uh, I think it's their budget line soaps. Basically they don't include a tub. Uh, you could buy it separately, but they give you in this plastic, not plastic, uh, this wrapped foil. And it's for uh, geared towards shavers that are more budget minded and want to still have a good shave using um, yeah, soaps that are cheaper. So I believe this one is um, around the range of five to six dollars. So very affordable for uh, about 3.5 ounces if I'm not mistaken. So I'm excited to try this one out. I enjoy using budget soaps um, as long as they don't dry out my, my skin. I am happy to use them. So this will be coming up very soon. Hmm. <sighs> Love coffee. All right, next up, I got a couple of shaving soaps. I had to get shaving soap. Um, let's see here. First one up is this one. Let me just take off the tape and take off whatever is in here. I really like the design and just the presentation of their soaps. This one is their unscented shaving soap. Hendrix Classic line, it's got this uh, mechanical cowboy, um, and yep, got the side labels, manufactured in Nashville, Tennessee, unscented, HCNC, oh, Razor Ray designs, I didn't know that, so I guess Razor Ray uh, designed this label, and wow, I think this is a 5 ounce tub, but it's probably more than 5 ounces, <laughs> I feel like this would be closer to 6. Uh, because I know Sterling's is 5.8 ounces and they don't come as full as this. So um, Yeah, I just man, they just pack their products whether it's shaves uh, tubs or samples It's all the way top Kind of has a sweet a little bit of a sweet like nutty scent to it even their unscented so so Not bad very clean presentation nice pour It's got the ingredients in the back here and yeah, it's got good ingredients like cocoa butter, coconut butter, elite butter, um, and all that good stuff. Lanolin, bentonite clay, and tussa silk. Oh, it has a has a birth date over here. It says born uh, September twenty second, twenty one. I wonder if that's the date that this was made. I'm not sure, but <laughs> has a birthday to the soap, so it's interesting. Um, all right, then easy. Very easy to open and close this tub. I know some tubs kind of make a squeaking sound and it's a little bit harder to open and close, but easy here. All right, next shave soap, man. This is going a little longer than I would like, especially with the coffee and everything. I like to drink my coffee hot. I don't, I, I don't like it when it gets cold or lukewarm. So that's just me. All right, next up is another shave soap. Uh, this one is their peppermint soap made with uh, peppermint essential oil. Uh, the side label is a little, is it's going up a little bit more here. A little, uh, what you call it? I don't know, but um, I like the label. Uh, again, designed by Razor Ray. Nice side label and a very trippy top label here. All right. Ooh, look at that. 
Wow. It says born, same date, 09 21 So maybe everything was made in September, but uh, it's got a nice, I don't know what that is, but. Ooh, this one's nice. It smells just like a candy cane. Sweet peppermint. Yeah, just like a candy cane. Like a minty candy cane, I would say. Oh, I'll, I'll enjoy using this. Uh, again, I believe it's five ounces of soap, but it looks like it's more than five ounces from how full it is. I'm definitely using this closer to Christmas. Just a lovely peppermint scent. Um, yeah, the late side label is a little bit reaching over the top cap, so that's yeah, all right though. All right, next up, uh, let's go through the frag oils. Or for me, it's more of a essential oils because I got the essential oil uh, bios. And they included a couple samples as well. So thank you very much to uh, Pete over at Hendrix Classics and Dana for packing this. Um, how do I open this here? All right. It seems like everything is safe, sound and safe. I don't see any leaks. Nice packaging and everything here. All right, so I got three vials over here. I believe these are the five ounce vials. Uh, how do I open this? Let me get my Remington knife. Yeah, this knife is not very, <laughs> it's not that sharp, so. All right, be careful, be careful. Oop. All right, let's go through the first one. This one is uh, lavender, which I can already, I can already smell. Maybe it spilled a little bit, but smell something. Uh, all right, let's get it out here. Yeah, that's a pleasant lavender. That's nice, yep. Uh, more of a floral lavender. I mean, <laughs> lavender scent is floral, but I get a bit more floral aspect out of it. Next one up is peppermint. I've already ordered peppermint soap, but I just wanted to get the uh, fragrance as well. All right. Nice and cooling peppermint scent. That's very refreshing. I like it. And last one up is uh, lemongrass. I know there are some popular soaps out there like lavender lemongrass. So I wanted to try the scent. I, be I believe, uh... wait, is this full? I can't tell. It might be a little fuller than <laughs> I don't see the water moving around or liquid moving around the vial. Might be filled up to the top. I'll be careful here. Oh, it is full, okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's a nice lemongrass. Um, I hear that lemongrass scent can be uh, pretty, what is it? Um, it can react to your skin easily, so I'll have to Careful with this one, but all three essential oils are uh, pleasant to my nose. So I will be, I will enjoy using this. I will have to use this with some unscented soaps. I can even mix it with other uh, fragrant soaps as well. So I'm excited to try these ones out. Um, let's see here. Oh, gotta be careful. Then I got a couple of samples over here. Um, all right, so I got a sample of Florida Sunshine and Delca de Bergamot. I'm not sure what Florida Sunshine smells like, but I smelled Delica de Bergamot before. It's got a, like a floral, fruity, little uh, feminine scent for me. But um, thank you for the samples. And last one up is gonna be a couple of the blades and the... Um, and they also included some samples as well. So thank you uh, for just being very generous 
Uh, it included uh, two fragrance samples and four or two fragrance samples, two shave soap samples, and two balm samples. So Hendrix Classic is very generous with their uh, samples. All right, as for the blades, I got the RK Chromium Blade, um, Chromium Coated Blades. Leave uh, Pete uh, use these regularly, and he really enjoys using them. Um, one more sip of coffee. Oh, it's already being lukewarm, so I gotta finish it quick. Also, I got the Gillette Winner Blade. <laughs> I just like this guy giving a thumbs up, and believe um. John Shapes 101 uses this a couple times, so platinum coated blades. I want to try those out. I'll be trying these two ones out um, in the near future. Also, for the sample of the Shape Soap and Balm, I got Havana Breeze and Hidden Goddess Shape Soap. Uh, Hidden Goddess is scented with Delica the Bergamot fragrance oil, so I already know what that smells like. Also, I got two uh, samples of their balm. So I believe they're both unscented. I'll be trying those bombs out, and if I like it, I might get one uh, probably next year. Yeah, because I still have some bombs to go through. I use a couple of Zincarnian bombs, also Sterling bombs. So if I like these two, I might purchase one of their aftershave bombs. Anyways, that is the end of the HCNC shave, not shave call, mail call, shaving gear mail call. Um, I actually enjoyed every, a lot of the products here. I just think um, one of the White Star soaps was a little different than when I ordered. So, but other than that, thank you for all the samples and little goodies that you provided. Everything came in uh, safe. Um, yeah, so I hope to enjoy this in the very near future. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekends. And this is Tim Shaves, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.